Hey everyone, so welcome to my week 27. I'm 27 weeks and 2 days. I know I'm a little late. I wasn't even going to do a week 27 video because of the fact that nothing has changed. Everything is really the same. Um, but, you know, so since I had some free time, I just decided to make a week 27. Um, nothing has changed really. Um, the only thing maybe is I've been drinking like a lot of soda and it's ridiculous like I know it's bad I'm craving coke a lot so I even though I buy the caffeine free soda but I know it's bad for me because I mean I drink like two cans like when I eat I drink two cans of soda and like I still want more but if I'm really hot if I'm cleaning or doing something and I'm really thirsty I want to drink coke I don't want to drink water and even if I do drink water and it's just not satisfying until I drink soda so that's a little crazy but yeah oh so today I had some friends come visit me um, and her and her husband came and she brought me a few little things um, and she has a five month old little boy and he's so cute her husband is half Samoan, half Mexican, I think. So he's really big. And the little boy is so chubby and he's so cute. Um, and he's such a good little baby. Like he smiles all the time. He's really cute. He's like five months. Five months. Um, but he's, he's really cute. And I'm going to be babysitting him on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week. So that will be pretty fun. My kids love babies, so they were pretty excited about that too. Um, so that's really it. Um, just the fact that I've been craving a lot of soda. Um, on I Thursday, I have my doctor's appointment on Thursday next week. I'll be 28 weeks, and I'm going to be doing the glucose test, I believe, that day because they do it at my clinic. They do it at 28 weeks. I know that on Sunday, do it at 24 weeks. We'll be doing that. Um, so I guess that's going to be fun since I'm really going to be there for about four hours. Uh, I've been feeling the baby move a lot. Um, nothing new, just feeling him move a lot. And he's always kicking me on this side. And I really want to get that on camera, but I just haven't had time to do that. Or when he moves like that, it's either really early and I'm just too lazy to get up. Or it's at night time where we're sleeping. So I don't want to get up and turn the lights on and visit my stomach. So hopefully, you know... I get him moving like that one day. Um, usually when I'm actually done eating, he moves a lot too. So, so yeah. So, I think that's about it. It's probably going to be like the shortest video I've ever made ever. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a few things that uh, my friend gave me. And then I'll show you guys the belly. So, um, oh, One of my favorite things that she gave me, and it's like the first thing I saw that she brought in, was this um, a fitted glory little bodysuit. And it's for three to six months. So my baby's going to be born Jul the end of July. So maybe by October, November, this will fit him. And it's really cute. And I love knitted. Like, I love it. Like, knitted little sweaters and stuff like that. So, this is this one. And it's really warm inside. You have the back. And it has a little... Um... She also gave me some little shoes that I had given her. I had given her these shoes when her baby was born. And I went to go see him. And I gave her these little shoes. And they're super cute. And thank God she gave them to me because they're so cute. They're like these little high tops. Okay. And they fold down here. And they look practically new. Little high tops. You can put this up too if you want. <laughs> Really cute. Um, little pearl socks. She gave me a few of these, um, like belly button covers, but um, I heard that they're not recommended to cover your baby's belly button, and I've never used them, so I probably won't use them. I'll probably just give them away at a baby shower. Um, because my cousin, his girlfriend, is pregnant too, and she's due July 1st. She's about three weeks ahead of me, so. Um, I'll probably just end up giving them to her in her baby shower. Got a blue one, white one, 
a white one with frogs, a little blue one, a little card one, and yellow. So yeah, I don't really use these, so I'm just going to end up giving them to her. The way she uses them. A little beanie hat. Really cute. Um, so I'm going to have these um, little sweats here. These are for six to nine months. And another one. And these are six months. Which are perfect because it'll fit him by the time it's cold. She gave me this cute little hoodie. It's so cute. I think it's really, really cute. It's from Granimals. And it's just a little fleece hoodie. And it's so soft. Like really, really soft. And it's for three to six months. Is cute and then she gave me these and I gave her these two and these came with like a little onesie from DKNY um and yeah so these are really cute I just love the little fade color of it they're really cute and these are for six months three to six months they're really cute I love a little tie on here and she just gave me these little sweatpants And she gave me these little sweatpants. And then she gave me these Carter's little corduroy pants. They're really cute. She also gave me this diaper cake. And it's really cute. And it has um, three little receiving blankets and a little little dog print on them. And then right here, I believe there's like two washcloths that look a little lollipops. And it has um, the diapers, of course. So they're really cute. And that came, um, that came wrapped up and on the cardboard where it was, on the base where it was standing, it had this receiving blanket on there too. So, yeah. So that's really cute too. I really love that. Um, and she gave me this one. And this one. I don't think I'm going to be using it just because of the fact that I really don't like these type of um, these type of diaper bags um, but I do keep a diaper bag in the trunk of my car my boyfriend's car just in case you know if we go in somewhere and then you know we decide to stay over or something like that I have a change of clothes for my kids and this diaper bag is really big so I love it for that um, so this diaper bag is going to end up staying at the car. You never know, there's probably an accident or something, or, or you forgot the diaper bag and you have an extra. So I like to keep um, something like that in the trunk of our car. And then the things that come in it, I can actually use them for my kids now, the ones that I have now, which is like cuppies and little containers, and like a little baby wipe case, and little spoons and forks, and stuff like that. Um, and a little rattle you can play with. A bottle that you know I can use it's really cute but this is what it looks like Yay. so yeah so I really love those things and I'm really glad that um, she was kind enough to bring me some stuff it's really cute um and it was fun seeing her little baby you know cuz I just can't wait to have mine it's so cute um but yeah I think that's it. So I'm just going to show you guys the belly. And again, I'm wearing black like always. Every time I make a video, I'm always wearing black. Next time, I'll remember to wear something lighter. So, let me just... There's the belly. And my belly button is an Audi now. Um, for my first pregnancy, my belly button popped at five months. And then for my second pregnancy, my belly button popped in about five and a half or six months. So um, this time it popped maybe around six, six and a half also. Um, but I just never show it on camera. But I'm going to let you guys have a little peek on it. <laughs> Since I noticed that that's something very popular for every pregnant mom on here, they're always like, 
Oh, my belly button has a pop date and my belly button has a pop. And it's still any. I never thought it was really that important, but um, I guess so. So, let me just show you guys that. There it is. And it's completely out. It's really funny. Yeah, I think that's it, you guys. <laughs> I'm getting out of breath. Um, yeah, I think that's it for 27 weeks. So, I guess I'll see you guys on um, Thursday of next week after my doctor's appointment. So, I can let you guys know how it went. And yeah, that's about it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.